Israel-Iran War News Now. Moody's maintains Israel's rating. The A2 grade accurately reflects Israel's geopolitical risk. Moody's ratings updated Israel late Friday, maintaining its A2 foreign currency and local currency issuer ratings and negative outlook. Moody's explains its negative rating outlook, Israel and Iran could escalate into a military clash, which could cost lives and money. Israel's Gaza confrontation with Hamas is ongoing and unclear. The Gaza crisis will have long-term effects on Israel's credit profile, possibly beyond the fighting. The country's institutions and public finances may suffer more than Moody's estimates. Moody's maintains Israel's A2 rating, saying the rating affirmation reflects Moody's opinion that the current A2 rating sufficiently incorporates Israel's increased geopolitical risks. Moody's baseline scenario envisions Israel, Hamas, Iran, and Iranian proxies like Hezbollah continuing to fight. Israel's economy and governmental finances were performing as projected at the time of the downgrade to A2 on February 9, 2024 on these assumptions. Fortunately, Moody's notes Israel's technology sector's first quarter rebound. The high-tech sector recovered strongly in Q1 2024, with investments totaling $1.74 billion, equivalent to Q1 2023, with no signs of foreign investor withdrawal or leave from Israel. According to Moody's, GDP growth will be sluggish this year, 0.6%, but if hostilities stop this year, it will likely recover in 2025, comparable to prior conflicts. Three weeks ago, SNP downgraded Israel from AA to A plus with a negative outlook. Moody's rating is one notch below SNP. In its last evaluation, Fitch, the third international rating agency, reduced its outlook but maintained its A plus rating, one notch above Moody's. An advisor to Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei has raised worries about the country's nuclear ambitions amid rising tensions with Israel. The advisor, Kamal Karatsi, suggested Iran's nuclear doctrine may change if Israel threatens its existence. We have no decision to construct a nuclear bomb, but if Iran's survival is challenged, we must rethink our military philosophy, Karatsi added. In response to the bombing of Iran's embassy in Damascus earlier in April, Iran launched a barrage of explosive drones and missiles directly targeting Israeli land, according to NDTV. Despite Ayatollah Khamenei's prohibition against nuclear weapons development, Iran's then intelligence minister suggested in 2021 that Western pressures could force a nuclear reappraisal. Our deterrent will alter if the Zionist regime, Israel, attacks our nuclear plants, Karatsi said. Engagement with the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, has had varied consequences. Despite positive and fruitful talks between Iran's nuclear leaders and IAEA representatives, success is still elusive. IAEA Director Rafael Grossi voiced anger over Iran's apparent lack of cooperation, emphasizing the need for tangible measures to address Iran's nuclear program. Iran promised to investigate unreported uranium particles and replace monitoring equipment last year. However, IAEA reports show that these guarantees have not led to considerable progress. My situation is unsatisfactory. Grossi remarked we're practically stuck and need to adjust. Grossi and Iranian officials discussed the 2023 deal as a framework for cooperation, but execution has been slow. Iran regards Israel as a hostile actor, hence external intervention was a concern.